back, everyone. We're back. Tap that screen, share the live, everyone. Let's make this shit go crazy, okay? Um, we have like 18% following on basically every live, which is enough push for me, okay? I'll take it. I'll take it. 18%. 18% is good. 18% we can manage and we can deal with. But yeah, tap that screen, share the live, everyone. We're gonna run the likes up to like 50,000 likes. I missed every single one of y'all. By the way, everyone, if you have not followed yet already, make sure to do follow. It helps boost the algorithm on this account, everyone. Plus, plus, it makes sure that you can get in, in, like see me whenever I'm banned and stuff. So it's really important. Appreciate the roses, thank you so much. That was fast. Yeah, we got our account back though, so we're good. What's up, Gerard? How you doing? Thank you for the confetti. How's class going? <sighs> it's, we're getting through it. I have such senioritis. It's actually unbelievable. And also, everyone, y'all want to know something fucking hilarious? Brooks? Brooks said he would only do a 1v1 against Dean on his own live. So he's dodging the 2v2, bro. He's dodging the 2v2. I think he's running. I actually think he's running, chat. That is unbelievable. That is unbelievable. So I asked Dean to ask him, would you individually debate Parker? Right? Because uh, I would love to debate him. And I want him to stop running because this is unbelievable. Like, actually unbelievable. If you're going to go on live, if you're, I mean, not even on live. If you're going to go on the internet and post to hundreds of thousands of people, you should interact with the opposing people who are also on social media, right? I, I don't see a reason why he wouldn't do that in this setting. I think he's just scared of opposition, which is really sad. Because these people are able to influence hundreds of thousands of people. Yeah, that's exactly what we were doing. Uh, that's exactly it. Yes, we were on the sixth account. We were on the sixth account. Yep. We always always have to deal with the shades. The current third account, by the way, everyone. So three of my accounts have been permed, but wasn't able to get those back. But yeah, we're going to get some people up here. Only send a guest request if you do believe that same gender attraction is wrong or immoral. Did Harry get banned? Maybe, maybe. This topic is risky. Maybe it is. I think it was fine before. I like your shirt. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to get some people up here in a second. Only send a guest request if you uh, do believe that same gender attraction is wrong or immoral. What's up, Christina? What's up, Courtney? It was, they got weird about it. What do you mean? How long was the band? 10 minutes. I always see this specific topic get banana. Yeah, I do too, but I want to be able to like have a conversation about it. And it's like literally every single time I do it, I get banned. So I don't know, but it's like also annoying because like I'm literally like half of my topics were, were capped by TikTok. I had like six, seven topics I was running chat. And then just like half of them got capped by TikTok. Non-hetero may be better. Should we try that? I mean, I don't mind changing it. I don't mind changing it. How tall are you? I'm six foot. TikTok really needs to get their priorities straight. Yeah. Seriously, bro. I hope it works out. I hope it does too. But we have no guest requests right now, so we do have to give it a little bit. Where did you get the top? What do you mean? Oh, you mean the shirt? I think my sister got it. So Pible when? I don't know when it's gonna drop. I have no clue. I have no clue. Is Tashika back yet, everyone? Or is it just us? Yeah, I'm six foot. I, I don't look six foot because I'm like super skinny and stuff, but yep. Um, so Dean's like five foot. No, Dean's not five foot four. Dean is, um, Dean's like five foot nine, I think. Um, what's up, Kuduri? How you doing? Do you only have one sibling? I have two and a half sibling that's way older. Not really close with my way older half sibling, but yeah, I have two older sisters. Yeah, is it is it appro appeal not approved though? For the for the 24 hour ban for Tashika? That's wild. What's up, Flo? That's exactly what I guess y'all's heights to be. Nice. Nice. What's up, KPN? How you doing? Yo, what's up, how old are you? It's me. Oh, what's up? Nothing much. How you doing? I am gonna I am gonna look for people to uh to to uh to like debate and whatnot. Is there anything that you wanna just, like say specifically? 
No, I just wanted to say I'm not debating anymore because I, I was harassed and bullied. So I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry. Thank you. So yeah. All right, for sure. Okay. All right, let's let's go on to the next person. Everyone only send a guest request if you do believe that same gender attraction is wrong or immoral. Looks like Brooks responded with a video. Everyone, do you want to watch the video on live? Should we just like react to the video on live? known as shifting the goalposts. Start with Ephesians 21, and then you move to Judges 21, and then you move to Judges 20. Remember what you originally claimed. Ephesians 21, God approves of the rape, abduction, and murder of nearby cities. The proof of this was Judges 21, 11, and 20 through 23. But as I pointed out, the congregation sent and commanded them, and the elders of the congregation said, and everyone did what was right in his own eyes, not God. He completely ignored my response. But now I'll entertain your shifting to Judges 20. No, he actually completely ignored Dean's response, bro. Because he specifically claimed that it wasn't God who commanded it. When it literally said in the text right before that God commanded it. He just didn't read the two sentences before. So he completely ignored what Dean said there. If you look earlier in Judges 20, you see this conflict start. And then literally said that Dean ignored him, bro. What is he talking about? Because they investigated the horrific crimes of Gabeah, wanted to seek justice. They wanted to purge evil from Israel. But what's the issue? I don't see how it's unjustified. And like I've I don't see how it's unjustified. Wait, are we talking about the the particular? Like, let's go back. Let's go back. Not God. I completely ignored my response. But now I'll entertain your shifting to Judges twenty. If you look earlier in Judges twenty, you see this. So let's read Judges twenty, right? Conflict started because they investigated the horrific crimes of Gabeah. Wait, but w doesn't it talk about like killing people who are ch children and stuff? To seek justice, they wanted. To like, bro, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. It's, I don't. See, I don't see the issue with killing people. To purge evil from Israel, but what? I, I don't see the issue with committing ethnic cleansing. It's, I, I see it justified. What's the issue? So what's the issue with ethnic cleansing? Unjustified. And like I've mentioned in my response before, God is the gift giver of life. There's no issue for him to stop. That, according to your there, there's no reason for God to kill people. God, God, Because God gives you life, he can take it whenever he wants. Right? Just, just He can commit ethnic cleansing. He can kill everyone just because he gave it to you. God's all-knowing. God knew that his commandment of war would result in the death of tens of thousands of Israelites, tens of thousands of Benjamites. He is doing rhetorical sleight of hand. No, not 21, but 20. Now he's like, well, maybe he didn't actually approve of it. Like, no, what he did was he took the verses, right? And he, he used a particular type of verses because he knew that you wouldn't read the extra context, right? So Dean specifically created the prior video, right? With only putting specific verses in to make it seem like it wasn't God who commanded it to get you to respond as bait to then call out, call you out for a debate. And then you did exactly what? He literally in this, in this, dodges a 2v2 debate against me again. He's been dodging Danny for months, right? He's dodged me for months. I've literally asked him multiple times to come on my live, completely dodged, completely ignored, right? And then literally we ask him for a 2v2 debate in front of 100,000 people. And he literally, he like specifically asked for a 1v1. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that. Dean's going to do fine, but like, what's, what the fuck is, cr that's crazy, bro. That's actually crazy. It was right in their own eyes, but God knew it would happen. Even that argument has an unjustified assumption. How do you know God didn't have good reason? Would there be no justice? How do you know God didn't have good reason? So we could just run an evidentialist argument as well as the evidential problem of evil. Would you expect that a good God would command these types of things? W would that be the expectation? For that crime? How do you know without the what do you mean no justice god could have created justice without telling them to command them to kill them right are you saying that's the only way god could come to justice as an all-powerful all-knowing being I have been better off if the evil increased so much worse than the casualties of war god is not responsible for the free choice of man nice try wait wait but this wasn't the free choices of man it was a command from god <laughs> what it's god commanding it what do you mean a free choice of man 
minutes before you posted your response video. You cannot be serious. You got yes, me, yes. Sir, Ephesians 21. I'd like to hide behind he, he, he mistook right the, the verse as a non-Christian, but you didn't read the two verses prior context to what he just claimed and literally made a video on it in front of hundreds of thousands of people. What he did by making this video was he proved specifically that, that Brooks doesn't do research on his videos, doesn't read context, and didn't know the context of the Bible here, right? So uh, Dean, Dean absolutely smoked them. Absolutely smoked them. On your phone screen and post your scripted, pre-recorded debate videos. To a very bizarre conception of debating. Strength of your position isn't determined by how fast you can respond. So it's more analytic to take some time to think about their response. Oh, their come response. on, bro. He's going to say that it's, oh, it's somehow going to be a better position for him to do pre-recorded scripted videos than for his particular beliefs to be literally put on the chopping block in front of people in a conversation. Because he can't hold up to critique in a conversation, he has to hide behind the lens of a video and a script to be able to respond to things. That's disingenuous. That's crazy. Just to get to the truth. Philosophers have never debated, but they have some of the best arguments I've ever read. If it's about the truth and not your ego, then why don't you make a video refuting What philosophers, bro? Anyways, the main reason and he did just refute your arguments. He also refuted the process in which you come to truth on your videos. He got baited, bro. I've seen that it is not as effective. I've noticed I could reach and help so many more people by making videos. I care about Christ, truth. Okay, so he can reach so many more people. So he can reach more people without getting actual legitimate critiques to his things because it's all behind a video screen, right? It's never up front. What are the views? Let's hold one view comparative to the other one. When you're on live and you're in front of people on a live setting, you literally in these types of conversations right, are upheld to the highest standard for holding your, your beliefs to be true, right? For do you have evidence for this claim? You can be questioned on every single thing, okay? You can actually be held to what you're saying. You can be held accountable. When you make videos like this, you can evade that accountability. And that's what he's doing. That's why he said there was no incentive for him to debate Danny, right? Because he only loses from it. So he's not doing so to be able to gain in terms of truth. He's doing so, right, to be able to convince people of a particular belief. And don't get me wrong, convincing people of a particular belief is good, but if that's the only thing you care about and you don't care about truth, I think that's problematic, right? That tells me someone's disingenuous. And people, not people's opinion of me. We challenge you to a 2v2 debate on the existence of the Christian God. With so with all that being said, I accept. But on two conditions. One, it's my live stream. And two, it's a 1v1. My experience that 2v2 has too much crosstalk and impedes progress. So Dean, let's do it. Shoot me a DM. Okay, so 1v1 me too. If he wants to change it to a 1v1 and he doesn't want the, the 2v2, doesn't want the extra, uh, extra talking over or whatever the hell he thinks is going to happen, right? Then 1v1 me too. Stop dodging the debate against me that I've literally been asking for for months. Right, because you make videos on this platform respectfully, right? Stop dodging. Stop running away. Respectfully, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. So, uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna, uh, should I make a video about this chat? I don't even know, because my videos, they don't send out. They have like 80, 90% following. They, they never have sent on that account, but it's like, bro, it's like, dude, he literally is running so hard, man. So hard. It's actually unbelievable. I'm going to make a comment. I'm going to make a comment on the video and be like, he's then 1v1 me too. I appreciate the confetti. Thank you so much. Then 1v1 me too. I appreciate the confetti. So real, bro. So real. Let's pull it up right now. Then 1v1 me too, bro. And everyone go like this. Go like this comment. I'm going to literally post the comment right now. Then 1v1 me too on live at Brooks. No, 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 Dean, Dean, you got that. Let's both do it. No, no don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Cause you're not running Dean. I know you, I know you could take it, but it's just like, bro, also one V one me too. It's like, he's like running so hard, bro. All right, everyone, everyone, everyone go, uh, go like the comment, go like the comment, everyone. I know you want to do the 2v2 team, but like, bro, you can do it. You're fine. Everyone go to the account right now, find my comment. It says then 1v1 me too on live, Theus Brooks. To be honest, you were running at this point. Like he literally is like, bro, like, come on.
<laughs> so it's so wild, bro. So wild. So wild. Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the background on, but like that's so crazy. I just like, I don't know, man. I don't know how people can just like be comfortable with running that bad. Yeah, we are doing debates. We are doing debates. That was so funny, bro. So funny. Only send a guest request if you think that being non-hetero is wrong, everyone. We are just looking for some debates, y'all. We are just looking for some debates. Once we get people up here, we'll be able to do stuff. We'll be able to get going. All right, we got six comments or six likes on, on that on that comment already, everyone. Go like it up so that he can actually see it. I don't see a comment. You should be able to find it. You should be able to find it. It's from my main account, Parker, get a job. I did comment. I did comment. What is the ad, bro? What ad? There's no ad. Um. All right, we're going to add someone up here. Only send a guest request if you do think that being non-hetero is wrong. Yo, Hollow, thank you so much for the galaxy. I appreciate it, Hollow. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I think you're a shadow band. I had to scroll down really far to see your comment. Yeah, I know. I am. That's that account. That account is absolutely shadow banned. I don't see your comment. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, chat. It's because it's literally, it literally hides that shit. What is non-hetero? Just like if you're, if you are not straight. Like, why is being not straight wrong? It's in the middle. I just saw. Okay, perfect. Only send a guest request if you think that being non-hetero is wrong, y'all. We are just looking for some debates. I don't even know if we'll be able to get debates. I don't. Today's been a really weird day for everything, to be honest. Been a very weird day. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> All right, all right. Like it finally popped up. Okay, okay, for sure, for sure. Why can't you say GAY on TikTok? I don't know. TikTok just made it that way. It's like really weird. It's like TikTok's been really annoying. They banned like so many things of me, what I've been able to do. I'm literally on a sixth account right now. It's like, where's Harry been? I don't even know. Uh, do you need a mod? I, I don't have a, a need. I think I already have full mods, like a full set of mods. Why are they banning you? They just banned me for no reason. It's it's so fun. Yep, Tashika did get banned for 24 hours. I have a feeling this, this live's not sending out everyone. I do have that feeling. Maybe, maybe it is. Actually, actually, it might be. I think it's fine, actually. You know, I think I'm tripping. I think I just need to get a debate in here. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Hello. Yeah, how old are you? 20. Yeah, do you believe that being non-hetero is wrong or immoral? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm a subscriber. Oh, you're good. Don't worry. Appreciate you coming up. I <laughs> appreciate it. Let's get the next person. Everyone only send a guest request if you do believe that being non-hetero is wrong or immoral. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Yo, I'm 22. Yeah, do you believe that being non-hetero is wrong or immoral? Yeah. Um, so my view is I would say it's wrong in the sense that it's unnatural, right? So I wouldn't necessarily say that the attraction is wrong. I would say that the action is wrong, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're referencing. So, like, uh, wh what do you mean by unnatural? Yeah, so it's it's not the natural way that things were designed. So if you look at human biology, human anatomy, we can see that the, the male body was made for the female body and vice versa. And so then you look at other things like the consequences of- Are blowjobs bad? What do you mean by that? Are they bad? What do you, what do you mean by bad? Because I don't think you can indicate that biology was made for a uh, male member to go on mouth or for mouth to go on um yeah clitoris. sure i think there's a there's a good argument that blowjobs are bad overall for really any you couple. think so so you just don't want to pleasure your girlfriend 
Uh, well, no, I can uh, I can pleasure my wife by having intercourse with her. <laughs> so well, most most women can't um, can't uh, you know get to that point from yeah. Hydration. But see now you're now you're prioritizing someone's pleasure over their actual. Sorry, I'm just trying to ma- I'm just trying to make sure that people are pleasured in relationships. Uh, sorry, I, maybe you don't care about your wife getting pleasure, but. No, but see, that, that's the that's the problem. You're, we're talking about design here, and now you're jumping to pleasure. You just ignored my argument of what I was just saying. Well, I mean, you just said that you don't want to pleasure your wife. That's all you were saying. No, I never said that. When did I ever say that? That was basically what you were referencing there, dude. No, no, that's just a straw man. Of well, you think it's morally pleasure. wrong for you to pleasure your wife? Of course, it's, it, of course I want to pleasure my wife. I never said it was morally wrong. I said that a specific act of pleasure could be wrong like a blowjob so for example you have someone like a serial killer who gets pleasure from killing is that wrong um yeah yeah exactly so things that give humans pleasure it doesn't necessarily mean they are morally correct. Yeah, I never said that because it is right. the case that you get pleasure from it. It's correct. I asked you what's the reason why it's wrong. Okay. Why what is wrong? What's wrong with it? With having, uh, having with sex. What? There's nothing wrong with having sex. And what's wrong with blowjobs? Specifically blowjobs. Now, uh, I'm, yeah, what's wrong I'm with that? Of, I'm kind of agnostic on the issue, to be completely honest with you. Okay, well, it's um, non re- it, it doesn't lead to reproduction, and also, but, as it relates to your so, body, your body wasn't like made for male member to go th- there and for your mouth to go there. Also, kissing, kissing your body wasn't made for kissing. How do you know that? How would you know that it would be? I mean, you can look at the design of lips, and you can see that. I mean, I think the design okay. You can look there, at the design of a of a male member so, in the okay, anus, and it tells us that with the with the male G with the male G spot, the P spot, right? It was made just for that. No, so I think now now you're taking us off topic when we're talking about we're supposed to be talking about non hetero relationships, and again, I think if you look, let's just go I mean, back. It fits, right? If you look. At biology, we can see that the uh, male anatomy was made for female anatomy. I mean, apparently parts of male anatomy were also made for male anatomy. How so? The P-spot. What do you mean the P-spot? The the prostate, it produces sexual pleasure when stimulated. Okay, and how, how how does that mean that it was designed that way? Oh, because that's just the function. You were just saying because as a function that indicates design. So I'm using the same notion you were. I, I, I'm confused uh, with your argument on the P spot. Could you explain that? Yeah, what's confusing about it? Um, I'm not sure how that proves your point. Could could you just explain? Yeah, well, that? you you were saying that like uh, okay. So what were you saying is the reason why it's made for each other? Um, because you can look at the penis, you can look at the vagina and they fit and then additionally same thing with the anus well hold on no, <laughs> surprise surprise no, no that's not true that's not true we it know is true it is true it hold absolutely no, no, no. fits no we <laughs> we know the design and purpose of the anus is for pooping right like that is the explicit purpose right the vagina wait, wait, i can i can use my i can use my purpose. member to pee too hold on what's the, what's hold the difference on. The, the vagina doesn't have any other purpose besides intercourse. You there pee, you no pee out of your purpose. thing, right? That, that means so that So you pee my, out of your thing, right? Yeah, that means my thing has two purposes. Okay, you so cannot, you can say the same thing about an anus. <laughs> no, no, you can't. Yeah, it has more than because, one purpose. No, 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 you cannot do that because when you, uh, when you have anal sex, um, you are not, you know, you not have the possibility of creating a life. And then additionally, I if think I have intercourse look, with my wife when she's infertile, is that wrong? Hold on. If you look at the studies that have been shown, uh, you can see that having anal sex is actually really bad for you. Yeah, uh, we'll talk about this in a second, right? We'll talk about this in a second. We'll talk about this in a second. And also, I don't think you have a substantiation for that, right? I think As it I relates do. to this. As it relates to this, do you think that if my wife was infertile and we had consensual sex, you think that's wrong? Um, no, but see, that you're doesn't lead to reproduction. Hold no, hold on. You're pointing to a defect. 
you're pointing to a defection and then you're trying to say that that's normal. You can't do that. That is a defection. That is wait, 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 against most, the design. Wait, wait, wait. Basically all women become infertile at a particular age. Right, that is by design. Okay, so is it, is it okay then? Is what okay? Is it okay for them to have sex? Yeah. Okay, but it's not, re it's not gonna lead to reproduction. Right, so okay, so I would say- oh, So that's not the reason. To, no, 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 no. So listen, I think there are two orders of ability. There's, and kind of I think what you were saying uh, on your last stream, right, there's the, um, uh, like there's a, their ability to do that, like the potential to do that, and then there's the actual actualization of that. Right. And so I think the body part needs to at least have that first order ability. Right. It needs to have the ability to do that in order for it to be mortal. The, uh, the anus doesn't even have that ability. There is no possible world. There's no possible anyway. way when they're infertile. It doesn't have the ability at that point. No, but it has the first level of ability. So, for example, like your eyes, right? The first level? Your, okay. Well, I'll ask you this. Hold on. Right? Hold on. If someone is born without a uterus, and they are biologically female, is it okay for them to have intercourse in marriage? Can I finish my point? No, answer the question. Then repeat the question. Yeah, if someone is born without a uterus and they're biologically female, is it okay for them to have sex in marriage? Um, yeah, again, you're talking about a defect. You're talking about a defect. Can you just so answer the question? Actually, yes, it's okay for them to. Yes, yeah, so, but it's not about a defect. You're talking it's not, about- It's a not gonna lead to reproduction though. I, I know, but you're talking about a defect and you're ignoring but, my- But like, again, you're, you're, but you're so still saying example, that it's not wrong in this scenario. If you were so, using your reasoning, you would say it's wrong. No, for example, all right, your eyes, they have, if you are not blind, you have the first and second order ability to see, meaning you have the potential to see and you also can actually see, right? And so the same thing goes for the vagina. If it's a properly working vagina, then it not only has the first order of ability, it has the second order of ability, right? And so you're talking about- Well, you would know okay, that the vagina isn't what gets someone pregnant, okay? Well, then maybe if you had a brain cell, you'd know that the vagina isn't what gets someone pregnant. So it's not the vagina that's not working. Okay, dude, you're you're being so nitpicky right now about no, my- argument. This isn't being nitpicky, that was just it. clearly dumb. You're trying to ignore it. No, no, no. So then I'm arguing, okay, your vagina, your uterus, whatever. It has to be, it, uh, it's, sorry, it has the first and second order. Now, if it doesn't have the second order, it doesn't mean it's immoral to have sex. You have to at least have that first order capacity to Yeah, but they don't have that if they're born without a uterus, okay? So that that's the reason why I brought this up. No, you don't they, consider that wrong. Well, I'm no, going to ask you, why do. don't you consider they it wrong? You have that first order ability, just like you're just like I would say someone that's born with the nothing tell because they have no uterus. Eyes. Yes. Just because someone's born with defective eyes doesn't mean they didn't have. No, they were born without a uterus ability. They were so born if without they had one. a uterus, would they be able to uh, to bear a child? If they had one, same thing with people who uh, like say a man, if a man had a uterus, well, then he would also be able to. Yeah, but okay, but there is your no point? man, there is no biological male that could ever have a uterus. That is, yeah, impossible. I'm not saying that there is, but right. again, so that's right? what I'm saying. Again, so that, th that's what, what's exactly your point? What I'm saying that males do not have even the first order capacity to even have a child or to have a uterus, and neither does this person who, without a uterus. Because they don't have uteruses. No, they do because you look at the female biological um, gender and you see that most women do have that. Okay, so, so just because most women do have capacity. that doesn't mean that this person does. You're, that's irrelevant to this particular case. Why is it irrelevant? Because in this particular case, they were born without a uterus. No, but again, why were they born without a uterus? Why? That's just, just what happened. I don't understand all the context right. there, of okay. why. So there, why they were born without a uterus is because they had some sort of birth defect. Is that fair? Um, I don't know the reason. Okay. That, I mean, that's fair, but I'm going to tell you the reason. It's because they had a birth defect. Because most women aren't born without a functioning uterus. Just like most people aren't born without functioning eyes. It's a defect. And so I don't, see, I don't see how that's relevant to whether or not 
the, your reasoning would be applicable to this scenario. Okay, because, because in this he, scenario, it clearly demonstrates that you still right think it is not wrong, even though they cannot reproduce. No, but and that's not it, my, there that's was not never a argument. function that allowed for them to be able to reproduce. That's not my argument. My argument. That is your argument. No, directly no. is your argument. Can can I tell you my argument instead of you strawmaning? I'm not strawmaning, but go for it. You're going to explain the exact same thing I just told you. No, my argument isn't based on whether they have the second order capacity or ability to actually do it. My argument is based on whether they have the first order ability. So that yeah, means I know, and I address even, that by saying that, that they don't have a uterus. Is it even possible for them to do that? It's not possible and if they don't have a uterus, possible, Micah. You're not understanding. It's not possible for a male to have a uterus. It's not possible. Um, if it, I mean, I'm pretty sure there are there are things that are just starting for stuff like that to occur. But like, I mean, in the future, that will definitely be the case for sure. No, it's not. Okay, it's not possible for a male to have a functioning uterus. And now you're just- It will be in the future. Into the future. How do you know that? You have no justification for that. Well, we, we've done that with plenty of different things. Like there, there wasn't an ability to be able to transfer, right, um, different types of um, things as it relates to uh, like other organs in the past, but we've I mean, adopted that's, that. That's just a, that's just a logical that. fallacy. Just because it was, it was possible to change other biological features, doesn't mean it's possible to change all biological features. Wait, no, yeah, no, I'm, th that would That's be just different. a non -secular. What I'm saying is that it's more likely, okay? I'm no, not judging based on certainty, I'm judging on likeliness. No, you can't even say that it's more likely. You just don't even know Yeah, that. I can. No, you were, you were actually critiquing there whether or not it's logically entailed, and I was not claiming that it was logically entailed. Okay, well, it, it's not even more likely. You, you don't have any reason. Wh how, wait, I just showed you. What's because the of commonality. That indicates likelihood. Commonality does not e equate likelihood. Why does it do that? Yes, it does. How? We do that with experience all the time. Like oh, so. when you expect that someone's good, it's because of what you commonly associate with goodness, right? Unless you have more information to go off of. Okay, so give an example. Yeah, like uh, for example, I ate uh, cereal this morning, right? Is that likely? Yeah, because I, it's, it, it's common that people might eat cereal in the mornings. No, but see that. Okay, so then that that's just false, though, because people eat pancakes, people eat bacon, people eat eggs for breakfast. So why would you assume that? But it's so common. So the claim that they're making is likely to be true. No, it's it's not. I, I, you can't. So even when your friend tells you I I eat cereal in the morning, you're like, are you actually serious? No, but 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 you're basing that off of a now an actual claim, uh, actual evidence that they're saying they eat cereal. For breakfast yeah they claim How it and you, you judge the claim based or, on commonality what do you if they mean they made a claim they did a backflip off the empire state building you'd be like no that's really unlikely well <laughs> it's not that it's really unlikely it's that you know that i have actual reasons to think they would never do that i don't have actual and, reasons and, to and think well, that yeah and again serious. that's based on commonality and even even if my friend said like hey i'm eating ice cream for breakfast or pizza for breakfast you have reason that these I, things don't occur because commonly they wouldn't no i i have reasons because that's what my friend is telling me they do wait again well, your friend just telling you you're evaluating the claim if your friend tells you that they're god you wouldn't believe it well yeah but that's based off of uh of commonality that I have. <laughs> no no, it's based off of other reasons that I have, like the fact that like, God is an all-powerful, omniscient, um, necessary being. But no, the, maybe they're making a different type of claim. Okay. And maybe right. maybe they didn't show you those characteristics. Well, okay, but then they would need to demonstrate that. They would need to just like your God. To think that. What do you mean? Just like your God. Just like my God, what needs to give us reasons? Needs to demonstrate that. Abs he absolutely has. No, he hasn't. Yeah, he has. Dude, I mean, there's uh, so many where? different arguments for God's existence. Like? Like the Kalam cosmological argument. Everything that, that doesn't justify God. Exist. That's compatible with naturalism. No, that's not. Everything that begins to exist has a cause. The universe has a cause. Or the universe had a beginning. Therefore, the universe had a cause. Yeah, and that, that's compatible with the cause being natural. Like what? 
No, no, because everything that was natural, everything that was physical, time and space has come into it. That's not how I was defining the universe. So if you're defining the universe that way, then I wouldn't say that. Not all of okay, these types of things began to exist. Then what do you say uh, began, or what would you say caused the universe? I don't know. Well, you're saying there's a naturalistic option, and then you're I'm saying there can be. Provide it. Then what could it be? It could be a, a prior state of naturalistic fundamental particles, right? Or a fundamental okay. state of state of being that's again natural. All we're saying is that it's possible that there's no contradiction with it. Okay? I'm not saying I hold to it. No, there. I'm saying there's no contradiction. No. Similarly, I don't think there's natural a contradiction thing, under a DS model, by the way, but I do believe that's not likely. Natural always have a cause, right? We don't see things popping into existence for no reason. No, the, the, that prior natural state could be eternal. No, it can't. Time and space. I mean, the big, have you looked at Big Bang cosmology? It clearly shows that time and space. Big Bang cosmology doesn't claim anything about where the Big Bang originated from. No, but it clearly says that time and space had a point of when they came into existence. These so types of these types of states began. Like there was a beginning to my existence. That doesn't mean there's a beginning to all existence. Why does that not entail that? Like when I'm saying there's a beginning to Parker, that doesn't mean there's a beginning to all things. Okay, but again, Big Bang cosmology, if you look at it, shows that the universe has been expanding. And so if you take that back into time, it means time and space started at a point, right? It had a- There was a starting point to expansion. That doesn't mean that that was a starting point to all existence. No, that that's exactly what it means. And that's exactly what Big Bang cosmology no, it's not. reaches. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. Yeah, that's exactly what that does. That is exactly what it shows. Okay, then here, ask a ask a, a physicist with a PhD on TikTok. Their name is Doctor Blitz. Okay, can you send me his his profile after? He's live right now. You know he'll tell you the same thing I'm telling you right now. Okay, okay. I mean I, that's fair. I mean we can both bring in different scholars from both sides. I mean there's you you do admit that there's scholars on both sides of the issue that that state what we're both saying right yeah not not there's no there's no um like evidence to indicate like empirically speaking what happened prior to the big bang there's no data on that that's what they would say um yeah but they would still say that time and space came into existence because um, then you have the problem of infinite regress if you do if you don't if you don't say that I don't think infinite regression is a, is a problem, but even if you say infinite regression How's is a problem, not a problem? You, again, that does not entail the existence of a creator, all right? Wait, wait, it can just on, be a natural on. cause that's eternal. How, There's no, how is an in, infinite regress a problem? Yeah, because um, you believe infinities exist, right? You believe they're possible, right? Uh, it depends on what you mean. Are infinities possible? Um, gosh, I mean, I would say probably not. Um, then God can't be infinite. Well, it depends on what you mean by uh, by infinite. Um, but I think God as a being, um, as a non-physical, spaceless being, can be infinite. But I don't think time and space can be. So infinite. infinities are possible. It depends on what you mean by infinities. I don't think there. What do you mean by infinity? Infinite amount of events. There cannot be an infinite amount of events. Oh, so God did not exist for an infinite amount of events. No, God existed outside of time before creation, and then He created time when He, in His act of creation. So He's not fully infinite. What do you mean He's not fully infinite? He's not infinite as it relates to time. No, he was outside of time, and time had a beginning, That and God created time. So he lacks in, in being infinite as it relates to time. Um, so he's not fully infinite. Oh, okay, so you're saying uh, when it comes to time. God is yeah. not infinite. Yeah, God, God is yeah, fully infinite. No, no, infinite, I totally correct. agree with that. He's eternal. Yeah. So what? Do, but what does if you believe in the eternity? Well, well then that's infinite forward, mean? infinite backwards. 
right? No. If you believe eternity is infinite forwards, infinite backwards, no, that's you're conceding a infinities exist. Of, that's, there's no that's issue a poor with infinities as, of eternal. Let me finish. There's no if, there's no issue with infinities as it relates to um, uh, what's it called uh, causality. Then no, that's a poor definition of eternal. That's not how I would define eternal. Eternal means that you have always existed. So the problem is you run those it, things mean the same you, thing. You run no, they do not because you yeah they do said, yeah they do because like, I was just saying at all times right you no you automatically imply that there was an infinite past in your definition of eternal. I'm not yeah infinite past that. infinite yeah that w oh, wait so do you believe that time oh, also does does time, does time stop infinite. existing? Time I don't think time will stop existing. Okay, so has it begun existing? Yes. So time began. Yes. For God? Yes, for God. He entered into time. So what created what created time? God did. Okay, so how did God create something without time? Um when he when he created that's a change in states. When he created time. What's up? Yeah, it's a change in states. Immediately at that at that point is when time at that point in, indicates that there was time so okay point is in reference to time can i explain my infinite regress problem because I there think is no that, infinite regress problem yes there is so okay no there's not so parker for example if i asked you to start a fireworks show but then i gave you an infinite list of things to do would you ever start the fireworks show uh would i ever start the fireworks show yeah. Um, I, I think that you could say that you you would, right? And if you reject oh. that, listen, listen, oh. listen, if you reject that, well, then it would be the case that you're going to reject infinity and in eternal eternal uh, existence. So the funny thing I think is with this is that I have no backing. I don't care about whether or not infinities are possible. What I'm saying is that you're committed to believing that infinities are possible. Okay, so I can concede uh, can infinities are not question? possible, and that just makes it worse for you. No, no, it doesn't. Like I'm not trolling; so it actually jumping, makes it worse for you. Parker, you're actually jumping the gun here. Okay, you didn't even answer my question. So you said, "Oh, well, maybe it's possible I would start the fireworks show." How, how is that even possible? I'm agnostic on it. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know whether or not infinities are possible. Parker, I, think I believe you are silly. committed. I, I believe you are committed to to infinities being possible. Parker, I think anyone that's listening to this can see how that's impossible. I mean, it's pretty clear that if okay, you have well, then to go well, then your God couldn't be infinite, infinite. No, if you have to go through an infinite amount of events that you will never get to the fireworks show and you want to claim okay well then that means and you don't know because you know the implications yeah so you know, you know something that means you know what that means that what? means that your god can't be infinite no because i don't claim that my god has lived through an infinite amount of events yeah then you can't explain why God would cause things because you're saying he's atemporal. Atemporal causation is incoherent. So you're why? running into issues either way you go here. Why? I just showed you. How? Right? If, you, if, you if you don't accept that infinities, well then you run into this, this other issue. How so? What did I just explain to you, bro? I don't know, explain it to me again. I literally have explained it to you like three or four times. I, I mean, I don't know. Dude, you're just Are being you, condescending, man. I'm not I being mean, condescending. I've explained it yeah, multiple times. Yeah, you, you didn't listen. No, no, that's not true, man. I, it, explain it one more time. Okay. Yeah, so if you reject infinities, right, well, then that runs you into a problem of, uh, what's it called? Um, oh, wait, wait, Blitz just got in here, by the way. Blitz, if you want to join up, you could, yeah, he is actually joining up. Um, yeah, so if you if you reject infinities, that that runs you into a, a problem of uh, what's it called, uh, of of God, right? Because of God, you you would say is infinite, right? Because uh, uh, and if you if you're rejecting time, right, uh, you would be saying that uh, uh, you know, right, fuck, I'm saying this completely wrong. If you reject okay. infinities, you then have to run to like uh, God specifically being atemporal to cause things, right? Which would then mean that 
uh, you have to explain a temporal causation which is incoherent. That's what I'm trying to say there. Oh, Sorry, okay, right. okay. I think I, I think I understand where I'm confused. So, how is a temporal causation um, a contradiction or not coherent? No, it just doesn't make sense because you would either have to say that causation is simultaneous, which is at the same time, which is temporal, right? Or you have to say it's cause then effect, right? Well, which is, no, which is a change in events. It's the same logical moment. Same logical moment. That's that's exactly simultaneous, and that's exactly what I mean by that's that's temporal. Simultaneous cause is temporal. No, no. I mean, it's it's at at the same time is temporal. It's the existence of it, time comes into existence when God creates it. Like God, God creating something. It like the first thing is when time time massage. thank you so much yeah and that's that's again temporal yeah okay well i don't think we're gonna get anywhere with that argument but i'm curious your thoughts on the ontological argument well we can talk about that in a second i think blitz uh wanted to i don't know i just got here somebody told me that i was called for yeah, yeah micah didn't you have a question um okay yeah i'm i'm just i'm curious um uh so what would you say um happened at the moment of big of the of the big bang or he means like know. prior to the big bang yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm saying at the moment of the big bang what happened yeah i don't know okay <laughs> why don't you know nobody knows no not not prior to the big bang like nobody knows the, the moment bang? of the big bang either then what was the big bang the Big Bang is a model, right? It's a scientific model. It's, it's not just yeah. the it's not just the quote unquote singularity. It's like the whole evolution of our universe. So when we, when people talk colloquially about the Big Bang, they're referring to this thing called Lambda CDM, which is basically a model that describes the evolution of our universe from around 13.8 billion years ago to today. Um, now, importantly, it describes things. Uh, so you you might call t equals zero, like the Big Bang. We don't know okay. anything about that. We know stuff about. 10 to the minus 32 seconds after t equals zero. Everything from there on out, we can talk about, and there's good physics for, and great explanations and understanding of. Before that, nobody has any fucking clue. OK. Um, so oh, I'm just curious, why, why is that? Why don't we know anything that happened prior to t32? Uh, yeah, so um, the issue is that uh, you can kind of wind the clock back and ask how, how, much, how the density increases, how the temperature increases. And at that point, um, we expect that uh, that you'll start to see things like uh, quantum gravity start to be relevant. Uh, the energy levels get sufficiently high. The particles are moving sufficiently fast that you know you would you should start forming like microscopic black holes and all sorts of stuff that we just don't have physics for to understand yet. Okay. We just don't have the theory yet. Okay, that's interesting. I've I've never heard that before. So um, I'm gonna do some more research into that for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's cool stuff, man. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. All right, should I disappear back into the uh, into the yeah, void where, from once I want. came? Appreciate it, man. <laughs> All right, later, dude. Appreciate it. Peace out, bro. Appreciate the little crown. Thank you so much. It's good to see Atlantic. Yeah, um, that, that was really interesting. I'm gonna have to do some more research into that. I'm not a physicist or anything, so um, for sure, yeah, I'm unaware. But all right, well, is there anything else you want to add or talk about? Well, okay. So it's funny that we went through this rabbit hole because the question was was why is being non heterosexual yeah but you base it in your religion right no i'm not if i was even if i wasn't um christian i would still believe so that. why because it, it goes against what seems to be naturally uh designed the natural order of things yeah so again uh when you say it seems to go against the natural order of things what do you mean by that i mean so like uh, take, for example, a seed. If you plant a seed in the ground, it's naturally supposed to grow into a tree. And how you do that is You're just saying like what you would expect it to do. Um, so so you, well, you're saying that expect. humans should do what are what is normal. No, no, not normal. It's based in a fundamental reality. What do you mean based in what fundamental reality? based in the fundamental reality of our biology. 
fundamental reality of our biology. Yeah. Right. And again, what, what about it? Our bi- I think it's just your preferences about it and about what typically leads to this. You're just saying anything that leads to reproduction, but whenever it is the case that straight intercourse doesn't lead to reproduction, then you, st- then you don't think it's wrong. Well, no, I'm not saying it has to lead to reproduction. I'm saying okay, so it has nothing to do with reproduction. What is it based in then? It has to have the first order ability to do that. The order ability to do, again, what do you, what do you, what is this distinction between first and second order? Okay. I think that's so, still unclear. So, okay. Um, an acorn, for example, it has the ability to become a tree, right? And is there a way you can make the wind less, uh, loud? Yeah. Uh, here, let me go in my car. Um, is that better? Yeah. Okay. So. Um, an acorn has the first level ability to, or I'm sorry, an acorn has the ability to become a tree, right? Um, uh, an acorn has the ability to be a tree. Yeah. Uh, sure. Okay. Now, will the acorn become a tree if you don't plant it, if you don't water it, yada, yada? Um, no. Okay. So if you, so that, so that's the difference so the acorn has the ability given that you do certain things or that it works out now if the acorn's defective right it won't grow into a tree no matter what um but yeah i don't i don't think that say, human beings are are confined to a singular purpose well i would say that our reproductive organs do have a purpose i don't think that they are confined to a singular purpose in what way? What do you What do you mean by because that? Because we're sentient beings. We have we have significantly more complex, right, interactions with the world than an acorn. An acorn isn't sentient. Okay, but how does a sentient being means that we have multiple purposes for for our because, body? Because we because we can have self directed action. Okay, but does that mean that it's moral? That's okay. No, I'm just describing what we can do. I'm not saying all self directed action is good. I'm just saying right. we can. So, so, and so, so why would we? Why would that, we that portray us point. towards only having one purpose? That means your point is ir- irrelevant. Then no, it's not, right? Yeah. If we can have self-directed action, how come we're only confined to one purpose? Um. Say say the question again. Okay. If we have self-directed action, how can we only be confined to one purpose? Because, um, because that's what the bio- biology says. No, it doesn't. The biology doesn't make any yeah. claims about that. These are for your personal preferences. No, that, that's absolutely no. the bio- no, biology. No, these are your personal preferences. Then, your biology you doesn't that, make any moral claims. Yeah, it absolutely does. No, it, it doesn't. Those are descriptive claims about reality, not prescriptive judgments about what you think should be the case. No, it absolutely, the, the nature of something tells us about its purpose. Yeah, when you're saying the nature of something tells us about its purpose, you're just saying what's expected given this particular set of criteria. What is no. common to occur? So no, again, if you're I'm just judging based on what's common to occur, right? I don't think that you're going to be able to uh, justify a lot of these actions, right? Like what? Well, because would you, why would you say kissing is okay? Um, because it seems like the lips were designed for one another. And why is that? Um. I mean, I, I don't know the biology super well, but I that's, mean, that's a psychological preference, isn't it? You're saying no, kissing. Okay. That's all you're saying. No, I don't think it's a, it's a psychological. So then why is it? Um, because of, uh, well, one, I think because again, the biology shows that it is okay. Right. If, if you look no, at that's it, that's your, like that's your feelings design. about the biology being that way. Okay, then what about the biology says that it shouldn't be that way? The biology doesn't make a claim about whether or not it should or shouldn't be this way. Okay, well, what makes okay, claims about what I'm should or actually, shouldn't be that way is you. I'm actually willing to grant that on that on kissing. Maybe the biology doesn't say either way, right? So we have to. Okay, if the biology doesn't say either way, then are, do you think it's bad for me to kiss my girlfriend? So hold on. So even if I grant you that point on kissing. That actually is irrelevant to the sexual organs because I think that is way more explicit in its design and purpose. Yeah. So again, when you say it's way more explicit in its design and purpose, how so? 
Okay, so one... Again, I think you're determining that there's some sort of mind that had a purpose in creating us. We're just looking at functions of things. Okay, sure. You what can, are the function of the lips? What are the function of the nose? What are the function of the eyes? Yeah, you What's don't the even function have of the to, sexual organs. You don't even have to assume that. So again, if you look at if you look at the penis, if you look at the vagina, they were clearly made for each other. And then additionally, when you perform, well, I could say that about the anus too. Well, what's the so? purpose of the male pee spot? Um, I don't know. A pleasure. Oh, appreciate the ice. Right. Thank you so much. And how do you reach that pleasure? Um, I, I honestly don't, don't know. Well, you got to go in there a little bit, right? Is that so, so, so it doesn't though? seem like it seems like the, it seems like the function of the anus is, is it is, is okay in this sense. Hold on. Is that, that the Appreciate only the mustache. Way? Thank you so much. Is that the only way to achieve that though? Um, well, then are you saying it's okay to put a finger up there? No, 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 sorry. Is the only way to achieve the peace spot is something going up the anus? Pretty sure. Okay, well, I don't know if pretty sure is going to cut it for me, but I think that would be an interesting point to look into. And then, so then regardless, I think if you just look at the statistics, you can see the natural consequences of, you know, a, a homosexual lifestyle. What are the consequences? Um, you have, Wait, I have a question. I have a question. I appreciate the confetti. Thank you so much. What is wrong with two lesbians engaging in sex? Again, it's unnatural. Thank you so much. Um, what? It's unnatural, but unnatural. Wait, so what does that mean? Hold on. Can I can I go to my point that I was? I was Wait, what? What does that mean? I'm gonna go to my point that I was gonna. Bring no. Out. What does that mean? Because you're trying to cause a red hearing. Hey, what does that mean? I just want to. I just want to ask. What does what mean? You said it's unnatural. Why? It goes against the natural order. It goes against the natural order? Yeah. Okay, so what does that mean? Um, that means it's going against biologically how they should function. It's going against biology how it should function, and how is that? Um intercourse between a man and a woman wait why can't why can't you so again you're saying that it's wrong for you to eat out your wife um again i'm agnostic on those issues if so. you're agnostic on it then you're agnostic on lesbians engaging in oral sex no i'm not a agnostic why not wait wait, wait. so what's Hold the on. difference so agnostic on whether a man and a woman in a traditional marriage if that is allowed if, is a totally yeah. separate question how is it a totally separate question okay because they were designed to be intimate with each other oh by who by what you're just assuming i, I mean that. you can just say evolution i mean evolution you evolution okay so God. but you, that, you but that action evolution. doesn't but that action does not lead to reproduction so how is um, it any and, different between the lesbians and between the straight couple? Well, it might it, it might spawn intercourse, but again, if you just look at if you look at lesbian, it might spawn intercourse. You look at gay mean? lifestyles. It's very clear. Wait, no, no, we'll say it doesn't spawn intercourse. Micah, 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 Micah. Let's say it doesn't. Let's say it doesn't. It doesn't what? Let's wait. No, again, I, let, wait. Sorry, what was the first claim you made before that? I literally just responded to it. Um, I'm sorry. I'm confused on what you're trying right, to just ask. Say what you're saying. It's fine. Uh, pushing daisies. Thank you so much for the twenty dollars on Cash App. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Pushing daisies. Thank you so much. I mean, I think if you look at the gay lifestyle, it it leads to higher rates of depression, higher rates of suicide. It increases your chance of getting AIDS. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, okay. That's that's ridiculous. Okay. So oh, I sorry. want you to give me. I want you to give me evidence that it's specifically being gay that is the case. Because what you're doing right now is a correlation causation fallacy. Couldn't you say the same thing for particular groups, right? Like in in America, right? You're more likely to have these types of things than if you live in a different country around the world. Um. No, I, I don't think I'm committing that fallacy because they're clear wait, no, no, biological. Again, wait, no, no, again, standards. I, I, yeah, but in another country, right? Someone would be less likely to have been attributed with these things. Attributed with with any of these things you want to mention, right? There are countries that have 
lesser rates of these things. Does that mean it's bad to be from America? Lesser rates of what? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm Any of anything you just said. You were talking about different um, types of STDs, right? Oh, sure. Certain STDs are less common in other countries. Does that mean it's wrong to be from the United States? Uh, no. Oh, okay. So then just because a particular group has a, lot, a greater likelihood of a particular STD doesn't mean that there's something wrong well, there? Okay, but you it doesn't necessarily imply that, but then if Okay, you so even if it was true that there was a higher likelihood of STDs, it wouldn't even indicate that, let alone you'd have to provide evidence for each claim you just made. So well, I mean, you no, just made a nonsense look, point. Hold on, you would have to look deeper into the issue. And I think if you look deeper into the issue, you can it see did, why It didn't indicate that it's wrong. That's all I see. No, it doesn't initially indicate that it's wrong, but it does indicate that something is wrong. Could you say, can you say that? Like if no. American, if, if most Americans are racist, it doesn't mean being from America makes you racist, but it does mean there's, it means that there's likely something there in the system that can lead to people being racist. Yes. Right. Exactly. Exactly. I don't That's see what the point was there's in relation to this though. So there's something within the homosexual system of relationship that causes these things to happen. No, you're saying a majority of gay people get these things? No, that's not. There's no evidence of that. No, I'm says I says okay. it increased your risk. David, thank you for the twenty dollars on Cash App. Thank you so much, David. I appreciate. It. Thank you so much. And if you compared, wait, wait, wait. Uh, you, give me the specific ones in which it increases. Thanks for. I won't be able to hear you when you're paused out of the app. But thank okay, you so sorry. much, David. I really appreciate it, bro. Thank you so much. Sorry, let me let me look at my source real quick. Okay. In the meantime, everyone, tap that screen. Everyone, let's run it up to 250,000 likes. Share the live as well, everyone. Literal gibberish. For real, bro. For real. Amy Lansky says that, they're, uh, that uh, men who participate in homosexual sex are 50 times more likely to get AIDS than uh, men and women in a heterosexual relationship. 50, what, what's the title? Um, uh, give me one second, I'll look at I'll Yeah, because I don't see source. this. I literally just looked up exactly what you said, didn't see anything. Didn't see anything. That's tough. All right, everyone, tap that screen. Let's run up to 50,000 likes, Lyle. Yo, what's up? Prevention. Uh, You're cutting out. Preventionjustice.org. Uh, no, what's the title? Oh, dude. It says uh, it's like CDC finally makes it official. And then let me look. Gays and other men Sorry, other MSM He just got hate speech and hateful behaviors So it looks like sounds like we're never gonna get the source everyone It sounds like we're literally never gonna get the source that's truly unfortunate Let's get the next person everyone only send a guest request if you think that being non-hetero is wrong or immoral all right, let's get the next person, everyone. I got flagged too for that, by the way, everyone. TikTok is wild. No, you kicked him. I literally promise I didn't. I literally got flagged. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Hello? Yo, does a pussy in a pussy get you pregnant? Does a dick in the anus get you pregnant? Does a dick in a pussy get you pregnant? How old are you? Fuck you, I'm 14. Hang yourself, nigga. Yo, you're crazy, bro. Yeah, can you Bro, what is wrong? Like, what is this? A COD lobby, bro? The, the 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 Call of Duty lobby kids literally just hopped into my live, bro. Like, what? People are crazy, man. What the fuck is wrong with them? Yo, what's up? How old are you? I'm 18. What's your birth year? Uh, 2005, September 8th. Okay. 
Do you think that being non-hetero is wrong? Yeah. Even Why? Not. I think it's wrong. Why? Because, first of all, I think gay people, first of all, they men. They men. So I don't like that. And second of all, you know, they stop like the, what's it called? The reproduction? The reproduction? I'm getting trolling vibes. All right, let's go to the next person, everyone. Yeah, you are. Let's go to the next person. Only send a guest request if you think that being non-hetero is wrong or immoral. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Hey, you a pussy, boy. You how old are you? Pussy. I'm 14, bro. Oh, my God, bro. You're not 14. I don't even believe that person's 14, but I have to go on to the next person. That's so tough, dude. Yo, what's up? How old are you? I'm 19 years old. What's your birth year? 2005. 19. What's your What's your birth year? I mean, birth birth Two, month. I said 2005. I said birth month. February 20th. Okay, for sure. Uh, why do you think that being gay is wrong? Oh, I you're supposed to say non-hetero. Oops. Sorry. Uh, it's because like in the Quran, like my Lord says, it, like it's prohibited for me or any other muslim to do it okay uh so you're saying it's prohibited for people to do that do it in this religion how do you know this religion is accurate in describing what's right and wrong uh because there's so much proof of islam and the proof is like uh you know how the world was made in six days the world in the heavens that's not proof i need evidence all right can you let me finish I was. You stopped talking. Yeah, I know. I was just trying to let you know. Like, the world was made in six days. So, people say, like, six days, like, six Earth days. But six Earth days, like, it could be six Venus days. Like, it's like a measurement of time. So, like, six days, uh, let me think. It could be, like, six days, one day is a million years. The, the scientific evidence is not back yeah, that. Yeah, can you let me finish, buddy? God, these queers, bro. That is crazy, bro. What? That is crazy, bro. Like, what is wrong with people, man? Yo, what's up? How old are you? I'm 29. Yeah, do you think that being right. gay or, be, or being not hetero is wrong? Um, no, I just had a quick question. Um, okay, you're gonna kick me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh ask me the discord at me at me and tell me you were the person that i that said that on live and i will respond trust me yo what's up how old are you hey, i'm 25 for sure do you think that being non-hetero is wrong uh just on a biological standpoint not really in a moral standpoint i don't know what that means so we're gonna go to the next person we're talking in morals y'all i don't know what it, what does it mean to be biologically wrong bro like what yo what's up how old are you Hello, I'm uh, uh, old enough. Yeah, okay. Do you think that being non-hetero is wrong? Uh, yes. Why? Uh, because uh, uh, you will not uh, lose sex with uh, animals, right? What? You will not like to lose sex with animals, right? So it's the same thing. How? Other animals other than humans cannot consent. What? Other animals cannot consent. Yes, but uh, it's, uh, I think it's the same thing. What? How is a consensual adult non-hetero relationship the same as a fucking human? Okay, so with, if you, with a fucking if you... Rabbit? Okay, if you, uh, then if you, uh, imagine you can, uh, uh, you can speak with uh, some animal, right? Like you, it's like, it looks like if you speak with an animal, uh, and uh, he agrees, you are saying you, you all, you all do, do it with him. What? Say it again? Appreciate the paper card. Thank you so much. What? So you are saying that if the animal uh, would agree with you, you would uh, you you would uh, do with uh, the animal. 
you, you, you can't, you, other animals can't consent. They don't have the capacity. They're not rational. Yes. If, but, if there was another you, alien you, you species are. out there that was rational like humans, would they be able to consent to engaging intercourse with humans? Yes. Come, uh, come on, you are so clever and you are... Uh, 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 the technology, the, uh, the way the, the things you you are going, uh, where you are going, it it, uh, it will not be so, so far. What? Yes, yes, open your eyes. How, how, is, how is two adults engaging in same gender relations the same as an adult with a child? Or not in a trouble with a child, with a fucking dog? What? Child. I meant to say dog. Can you repeat? Yeah. How is two adults engaging in a consentful same gender relation the same as an adult human with a dog? Uh, you, you, I'm saying that it's wrong. I'm not, uh, I'm not, uh, why is I, it I, wrong? A, huh? Why is it wrong? Because, because it's in, uh, in our, uh, ethic, everyone knows it's wrong, uh, right after, uh, when we.